Okay hey guys, well after a four day delay waiting for the stinking floor to come in, uh, it's finally arrived and it's going down tonight. Well, it is 8.30 at night. Been crawling around for hours getting this floor prepped. Go to start installing the floor and guess what? Somebody in the engineering department decided it would be a good idea to change the profile of the flooring so that it doesn't match the old profile. So you can't get this new stuff to fit with the old stuff. And the flooring was special order so I doubt they'll take it back. So what I've decided I have to do is throw out all this stuff and take it all back to that row right there, pull it all out from underneath the fridge and then scrape and adjust the tongue so that the old new stuff will fit in with the old stuff along one continuous joint and then use all new stuff from there forward and 
throw out all this stuff, which I was just going to put back into place and weave in the new stuff. That means I won't have enough flooring because I only ordered enough to do that space and a little bit weaving into this part. Such is life when you're doing renovations on the cheap. Well, my flooring finally arrived, so I can finish throwing down the laminate, get the baseboard on just in time for Josh to get it painted and be done. At least the woodworking, because the fireplace is underway. I repeat, after two and a half years of looking at a hideous cinder block fireplace, I'm actually finishing it. It's gonna be amazing. Well guys, it actually happened. Last night, I finished the baseboard in the new little addition and we are finished. Except for Josh, Josh's not finished. <laughs> Got him doing all the dirty work, painting the baseboards. So I don't know if you remember like a bajillion months ago when my deck looked like this, well it still looks like this. But I have built a tarp roof over it because I know I talked about doing tile on this deck uh, when I went to the tile store and told them what I was doing, they were like, yeah, if you want to meet building code, you have to have like an inch and a quarter subfloor. So I would have had to put another layer of plywood on here. And then you have to have like a torch on membrane. And then on top of that torch on membrane, just like the roof, you know, like torch down tar membrane. Then on top of that, you have to pour like an inch and a half mortar bed. And then on top of that, you have to have like two different types of Schluter, Dietra lining, drainage mat, blah, blah, blah. And then on top of that, you have to have the tile. So I was like, ah, that's gonna cost like $50 a square foot. So tile is out and I'm going with vinyl. As much as I don't really, I'm not a big fan of vinyl, it works for about, you know, 20, 25 years if you take care of it. And I'm gonna have a, a glass, I'm gonna have a pergola with a one day glass roof over it so most of the deck will be protected there'll just be a little bit of the end here that's open to the weather so the vinyl should last well enough because we're on the south side we have southern exposure so you're not going to have issues with algae and mold and dirt and all that sort of stuff it should stay clean and dry most of the time so that is going to save me a bajillion dollars and now i just had to set up this tarp so that my subfloor my plywood here which has been getting rained on can dry out to the point where we can put down the vinyl and i'm going to fill and patch and and clean the place up and then once the vinyl's on then i can start laying up laying out my siding and getting all that going and the trim and everything else which is going to take another i don't even want to talk about how long it's going to take well, it feels so good to be nearing the end of this renovation at least the inside part I am well underway working on the fireplace right this minute. I don't know if you guys knew what my fireplace looked like. It's been looking like this for the last two and a half years. So that is my mission to get this fireplace and the inside of this whole renovation done before Christmas. So there'll be a video coming out on that fireplace. As well as big announcements coming for this channel moving into the new year. My business partner and I have talked it over and we have we have finally decided to go ahead and start the online Samurai School of Woodworking. So now I'm gonna be focusing on making exclusive content that'll be for that website. So the people that watch this channel, those of you who wanna actually learn and grow and are willing to invest in that process and becoming a woodworker, 
coming in the first few months of the new year, we are going to be launching a subscription site where you can pay a monthly fee and you can access online in-depth training videos that'll teach you everything from understanding wood species and materials and how wood works to tool maintenance and upkeep and sharpening and joinery and furniture and design online 3D, you know, SketchUp design for designing models and furniture and joinery and components and all the inner working parts. I know a huge number of my viewers are really interested in that content. Yet at the same time, there's an even probably bigger number that just like watching the videos and the inspiration that they get from, you know, seeing the whole project come together in a few short minutes. So this is the way we can keep everybody happy is those people that really want the more meat and they want to actually be able to do this stuff themselves. They will be able to access all the training they need on the Samurai School of Woodworking website. And those of you who are just sticking around and having fun in the entertainment value from these videos, you'll be able to just stay here. We'll... So obviously the people that are most interested in learning this stuff, I would assume anyways, are the people that support me, the Samurai Brotherhood. You guys are the ones that are contributing financially monthly, keeping this channel afloat and keeping it going. And you guys are probably the ones that would be willing to invest in, you know, becoming a subscriber and learning more in depth, getting more in depth training. So from you guys, if you could move your financial contributions from my fan funding page, if you're, if you're supporting me on my website and the fan funding page, if you could move that support over to my Patreon page, it'll be linked in the description box below. If all you guys could move over to Patreon so that all my fan funders are on my Patreon page, then I can do exclusive, live hangouts with you guys over the next couple of months and get a feel for what you guys would be wanting to see from me as far as content on this site, as far as training, whether it's uh, computer design and SketchUp or joinery tutorials or tool maintenance and building furniture, home renovations, whatever it is, uh, I wanna be able to have hangouts with you guys. So I'm gonna do the first hangout on December 9th at noon Pacific Standard Time. And you guys can tune in and we can have a conversation. You can leave re real time comments and I can do a Q&A and answer and discuss with you guys what it is you're looking for as far as training and teaching and all this sort of stuff. So I'm super excited about this. I would love to hear from you guys what you think about this. Let me know what kind of stuff you would love to learn about if you were to subscribe to my online school. That way I can deliver the goods that you guys are looking for. As, as well as my online school is gonna have like a blog page and a page where you can leave comments and get answers to questions. So it's really gonna be a lot more interactive and connected in that way because I know a lot of you guys out there are in this just like me, renovating your homes and trying to build your own shops and get your own tools and acquire and do all this sort of stuff. You're not just kind of watching me, you're actually doing it as well. And so I want to be connected to as many of you guys as possible so that I can pass on whatever advice or wisdom I've learned over the last few years. So yeah, I'm going to leave it at that. Make sure you guys go check out my website. This shirt is available for two weeks only. So make sure you pick it up because after that it's disappearing. It's probably the closest you're ever going to get to this beautiful chisel right here. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you so much for having grace for me. The last few weeks have been hard. My, sick, my kids have all been sick. Now I'm sick. I feel like I'm underwater right now. And, you know, moving towards the holidays, I'm forcing myself to not take on any new projects, but just finish what I got going on, which is the fireplace. So thank you so much for all your support. To my Samurai Brotherhood, you guys are awesome. Till next video, Samurai out.